streets! Our streets! A day after protesters took to the streets, some shutting down New York's West Side Highway and filling Grand Central Station, the outrage continues. On Wednesday, a Staten Island grand jury decided not to bring charges against a white officer who held an unarmed black man in a chokehold during an arrest in July. The man, Eric Garner, died. I'm determined to get justice for my husband because he shouldn't have been killed in that way. He shouldn't have been killed in any way. Garner's friends say they were not optimistic when they heard a grand jury was hearing the case. What's so sad right now is that before this verdict even came out, everyone knew what the verdict was going to be. The Patrolman's Benevolent Association agrees with the grand jury decision not to indict. The union's president says the death of Eric Garner was a tragedy that could have been avoided. You cannot resist arrest because resisting arrest leads to confrontation, confrontation leads to tragedy. Legal experts say the decision not to indict was the most likely outcome. I think historically it has been difficult to uh, prosecute police officers. Police officers have a certain, uh, I think, presumption of legitimacy um, in the community. It's recognized that they have a very hard job to do. Civil rights leaders are pushing for reform at the federal level. We want the Justice Department and the federal government to deal with the fact that the grand jury systems on a state level are broken. The Justice Department has launched an investigation into Garner's death and continues its investigation into the death of Michael Brown an unarmed black man shot dead by a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. One big difference between the two cases, Garner's case was caught on cell phone video, and in that video he repeatedly says, I can't breathe. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Staten Island, New York.